several macrolide antibiotics are pro-arrhythmic and are associated with an increased risk of sudden death. Azithromycin, however, was always thought to have minimal cardiotoxicity. Recently, though, some evidence has surfaced that indicates otherwise. Now in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers point out that even azithromycin has cardiotoxicity and cardiologists should be aware of that fact. They studied the Tennessee Medicare population, which is designed to detect whether there is an increased risk of death from cardiac effects of any medication. In that population, close to 350,000 patients had taken azithromycin, and they were matched with more than a million patients who took no antibiotics and compared them as well to more than a million patients who took amoxicillin. During five days of therapy, patients taking azithromycin compared to those who took no antibiotics had a 2.8 times risk of cardiovascular death, with an estimated 47 additional cardiovascular deaths per 1 million courses for patients in the highest decile of risk for cardiovascular disease. Patients on amoxicillin had no increase in death, as might be expected from an antibiotic without significant cardiovascular effects. When you look at the absolute numbers, the risk overall is small. Nevertheless, there is a real take-home message here. During five days of azithromycin therapy, there was a small but absolute increase in cardiovascular deaths, which was most pronounced among patients with a high baseline risk of cardiovascular disease. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.